tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, connect to the Flickr API and write code that will allow you to search for a photo based on a keyword. So I have a little search field and I'll put in something like cars, hit search, and a random one shows up and I can kind of click next and it'll give me whatever is next in the uh, queue. Um, it's a nifty little one. It's any time you can write to an API that's kind of neat. And so I figured I'd show you how to do that. Um, so to get started, you would need to go to um, Flickr's website. I'm going to kind of I'll show you that. All right, and so you go to what they call their app garden, and it's basically flickr.com forward slash services. You have to create an account. It's a, a Yahoo, any Yahoo account will allow you to get in there. Um, then when you do, you can click on this get an API key, click that, and you want to go non-commercial. If you go commercial, then you have to uh, apply for that, and that takes a little bit, but I'm going to show you the non-commercial route. Um, just put in the name, what you're building, Agree to these, hit submit, and then when you when you and when you've done that, you go back to the app garden. You can um, look at the apps you've created and get your um, key and secret code there. Um, not showing you that right now because I, um, uh, you know, there those are kind of security things. So uh, that's it. That's once you have those the key and the secret you can create an app um, and I'm going to show you exactly what you would need to do so when you create a project in Xcode I'm showing you in this in Swift you can do it in Objective-C but the code I'm giving you is Swift um, and the key thing is you need this uh, header that looks something like this and this will allow you to uh, uh, connect this gives you all you need the the base URL, this allows you to write different things. It's connecting to the API. Um, the flicker.search, uh, this is what we're going to do. So this is the method name we're using. Type string, the API key, you put yours in there. Um, I'm not really using this. I have a gallery ID in there, but I'm, I'm not really using that. We're just searching. Um, these are... Uh, the defaults for these going to come in and type JSON. Uh, you want a URL, save search, um, and that usually does the trick. Um, this stuff here is kind of just needed, but this is kind of where the action happens. Um, we get a, a search method that allows us to bring in the string of whatever was in your text box. And that's what this keyword is right here. And then we call that to the, uh, to the um, get image from Flickr search method, method, which that is down here. And so that brings in all those arguments that we had above, right? And we use all those arguments to... Um, make a call to Flickr and um, we parse that in using the NS URL um, which is a basic call to any web uh, in, this, in this instance we're calling the API for Flickr and then we bring that in and uh, it's going to bring in as many images as there are and we're going to actually save them to arrays right that's what we're doing here um, we have this photo array and then we're um, creating a dictionary based on that and this is the uh, the, the arrays themselves that are that are class variables and so it's going to save the title the URL to the array um, URL to the image in a string format and the image URL and then we um, use this um, to actually display it okay uh, let me see anything else that I need to point out this, um, this function here just allows us to create a clean URL that escapes any um, parameters. And then we have this uh, next person, 
which really should be called next image that um, when you hit the next button will give us the next image in our array that we have saved all right and then display that to the screen and that's it and so if we look at the actual project and you can see that that's that's all we have in here all right So I'm going to share this code with you, and um, you let me know if you have any questions or need further detail. But the comments are pretty good in here that let you know what each section of code um, is doing. All right, that's it. Um, like I said, let me know if you have any questions, and please subscribe.